Hey everybody, it's April Connors and I wanted to welcome you back to Drive With Me Tri-Cities and today we are in uh, Badger South neighborhood which is kind of right off the freeway and off the Dallas Road exit and it is a new community and it's uh, just kind of getting, not really getting started, it's been going for a while but it's really just got a really good jump on itself recently. And today, driving with me, is Elizabeth Bousquet, yeah. who also lives in, in this my, neighborhood. lives in this neighborhood, is one of my partners in real estate. And so we thought it would be kind of fun to showcase the neighborhood that she lives in. Yes, it's a great neighborhood. So as we're driving in, one of the things I really like is the tree-lined streets. Uh, they're, the trees aren't super huge right now, but they're going to get bigger as we kind of move along in our um, environment, I should say, as they keep growing. Yes. And the walking trails. Walking trails are great. They just put in a ton of walking trails around. Um, it's a couple of miles all the way around. They're actually finishing up putting in a roundabout to start the next section at the West Vineyard here soon. So, growing area. Mm -hmm. And I like that each street kind of has its own tree. Did you it does. That? They we do. Came in they're red and now they're green. So what do you suggest, Elizabeth? Should we turn in we here or go further down? We should turn down into Smitty okay. when you enter. And the nice thing about uh, West Village, which is this section, is all of the trees in here are dogwoods. Oh, yes. We do love dogwoods. We do we, love we, dogwoods. We have some fun facts about dogwoods, don't we? We do. So this this side of the street, I'm just going to go this way right here so you can see the one of the five builders yes. that, is, that is in this neighborhood is New Traditions Homes. Yeah, so there is five builders in here. Um, New Tradition Tannin, which I actually live in, uh, Titan Homes, Prodigy, and Muzzy Construction. So lots of great builders in here. And do all of them have models for people to come and take a peek at? There is a they... couple. Um, Titan and Tannin and New Tradition all have models. The other ones do not as of now. But they do have some going up if you want to look in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And probably the reason they don't have models is they just opened a new section. They did. Correct? So they've kind of just sold out the rest of the existing section that we're currently in right now. Yes, because New Tradition actually just got a new model home. That one actually just sold, and their new one is down here with all of their new upgrades mm -hmm. and standards. Mm -hmm. And is this the one we're getting ready to come by? I'm sorry we brought you here on garbage day. A bad thought on our part, but uh, Titan is this model currently still open? Right. It is still open and it's for sale. I really like the brick on the front of that one. It's a great brick. house Super and it does trendy. have a fence in the backyard, which is kind of nice. It's really trendy. So, the houses in these neighborhoods, there's a lot of one story houses. So, if you're looking for a house on one level, uh, this is probably a great neighborhood to take a look in. But there are not a lot though with three car garages. There's not. Um, there is some with three, some with two, um, just kind of depending on what you're looking for. Some great cul-de-sacs in here as well. Mm -hmm. um, the new tradition does have a lot of three car garages. The Tannins are more of a two car as well as the Titan homes. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's a new model home. That is right the new here. model home right there. And that's the new traditions one. That is correct. And then you can see we're going to just drive through and show you some of the lots that are available to yes. build your house on. And this is the new phase five. So all of these are the new section. These are all owned by Titan and New Tradition. And then one straight over is all owned by Tannin, which you'll kind of see all of these new lots as we drive through. Elizabeth is an expert um, on this neighborhood, so whenever we have a client that wants to move into the neighborhood, she's the one that kind of will bring them just because she lives here and she knows the neighborhood. The Can you explain New Traditions process that they're doing right now? Because we're in a pretty tight yes. real estate market here, and so they have a little bit different process they do. they're doing right now. So you come out and you purchase a lot, which is kind of fun. You can come and pick your own lot size and what house plan will fit. And then you sit down and you go and pick out all of your selections um, at great floors. And then you actually have a structural site meeting, which you can do in person or Zoom with COVID. And they kind of just make sure everything's good to go. And then your house actually goes in for permit. And then it's about a six month build once mm -hmm. you start. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, they do build a great house though. We actually have a client building a home now with them. So it's kind of a fun process to go through. 
I know, Amanda was on a, Amanda's down back uh, filming Hello. for us behind today. We're being safe as we're doing our tour. And she actually went to selections with that client. We saw a picture of her on the internet up on the table taking taking good good photos for her. And it's kind of fun. We're actually driving by right now another one of our client's houses. Um, it should be done here June 15th. It's coming up right here, actually. 2590. 2590. So he's very excited. So um, this is Tannenins, all their lots in here. So what did you enjoy about the building process with Tannenins? I would say my favorite part was selections, but that's my favorite with anybody, getting to pick out all your finishes and your paint, and you know, that was awesome. Also working with the agents and the builder was great. I got to meet them on site a couple times and walk through, so that was my favorite part. Well, and uh, Bruce Tannenen has been in the Tri-Cities for a, quite a while building homes, and has definitely been on our radar and leaderboard for a long time and he actually built my mom's house as well right. and my nieces and, and my brother-in-law brother we've done at least five transactions with Bruce just yeah. this year yeah it's crazy so the nice part about the neighborhood is it's not just a single family homes in here it's not there is a huge master plan actually for this neighborhood mm -hmm. Um, as you can see over here, there is apartments. Mm -hmm. so, so great multifamily option yes. in here. It's called a uh, Copper Mountain. Copper Mountain, they're great. Mm -hmm. and they look nice and they're brand new. Yeah. Uh, they have a, a community, little community fitness center there. A and park, they, there's a pool. Mm -hmm. It's great. And they also have some detached garages in these. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure yeah. if they come with the units or not, but they're kind of a nice addition if you need somewhere to store things or you don't want your car out on the street. And then we're gonna flip around here because you can see one of the other things I love is the just the horizon. Um, we're gonna flip around. You're going to see on your right. There's gonna be some radio towers, and that is Badger Mountain. So you're kind of at the base of Badger Mountain where you can do a ton of hiking. Uh, there's a couple different trails really close to Candy Mountain as well. Well, and it's great because Candy Mountain and the Badger, the backside trail, is only three minutes away. So you can hop in your car and get right down and. Mm -hmm. Get a quick get sweat you, in the morning get before your workout. your workout. So as you're looking at too, this is where they're actually going to put a couple places of worship. There is also the city of Richland bought land for a school to go in. Mm -hmm. And some more residential housing and commercial. So hoping for a grocery store. Yes, yeah. You know, with as most people know, with rooftops come other amenities and you have to get a lot of rooftops out here you first do. before you can can get some commercial activity going. But I think it's going to be coming pretty, pretty soon. soon. There's a lot of things close by that are, uh, it's really not as far as you, you think it is. Even like uh, tasting rooms for Goose Ridge. Goose Ridge is right out here in the Queensgate area. So Target mm -hmm. and Home Depot are only five minutes away. Mm -hmm. And the freeway access is the best part because mm -hmm. you can go either direction and the convenience store they just put in as well so so we're pulling into the next section of badger south and what you're looking at right now is um future commercial retail yes. space that will hopefully be filling in soon you can see the subdivision we were just in off to the side um, again they have the nice wide walking path through here and one of our favorite stores Country Mercantile. Yes. It's dangerous living over here with gelato only a 10 minute walk away. Homemade bread. Which is great. Uh, fresh produce. Sandwiches. Jams. Ice cream. Don't forget the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate. Oh. They have all the yummy chocolate. And, and they're there. olive oil too. Oh, yeah. And gifts. They have tons of really cool gifts idea. So Which this, is great. this neighborhood is called West Vineyard. And part of the reason why is it does back uh, some grapes over here, which I think those are owned by Goose Ridge as well. I think you're right. And there are a lot of um, the houses that back the vineyard are a little bit, a little bit larger. But one of the nice parts of this uh, section is the original portion of the development had back alley garages, and a lot of the houses actually back uh, back the park. Correct. And so we're going to take you and, and show you kind of the the park that they. They have a great park over here. They do. And it's, it's great if you want to walk your dog over and throw the ball. Mm -hmm. And they have a nice little gazebo area, play set. So, well, it's, and it's centralized around these houses that have the back garages. So your view 
really is looking out towards the park. So if you had kids, you could watch them play. Absolutely. You could, you could send them over to the park and, and let them play. And they have a really nice structures in there. Uh, and some of the same builders were here as well Correct. as over in the... Lots of new tradition in here. Lots of new tradition. Uh, you get some of the Titans, the Prodigies, mm -hmm. the Tiananmen. Mm -hmm. They've been pretty true to keeping they have their same developers in here. There is another section that we will take a, a drive by that actually has some more estate size lots. Correct. They backed uh, right behind uh, Badger Mountain. And so we'll take a look at those next. So we're turning onto Highview Street, and these houses are actually on really large lots. And you can kind of see they back up to Badger Mountain. I think they're on almost an, either a half acre or a half acre. acre yeah. yeah. So they're ni really nice size. Um, Some of them are a little bit larger. There is. You can put interior. shops on these ones, mm -hmm. which was nice. Mm -hmm. And it does back the vineyard as well on this side. So they get a nice view. Mm -hmm. Actually, they have an orchard. Right oh, it's an orchard. Yeah. The vineyards on the other side. So they have back an orchard. You think it's cherries or apples? Or... Uh, I can't see the leaves, but I'm going to guess it's apples probably over here. There's one for sale in here, I guess. But as you can see, those are kind of a little bit more estate sized lots, so more estate sized houses. They're a little bit larger. So I do, as we talked about before, really like the gamut of you have from multi-family housing to uh, estate size housing you do. to smaller housing they, they even have some duplexes they do have some duplexes in in as well so so this next section here we'll go down to the street is actually called goose ridge estates and we're going to pull in and these also have a little bit larger lot sizes they range from did you say point two yeah point two seven to half acre so larger size lots and um, builders in here are landmark tannin titan prodigy mm -hmm. uh, there's a few more in here but great size lots really pretty yeah, a couple of infinity houses that i think are either complete or about complete in here that are available for purchase uh, besides that everything else is about it's sold, sold. There are um, maybe a couple lots left you could look at with the builder. Uh, the builders do control the lots in all of yeah. these neighborhoods. And so it's not a neighborhood where you can actually come in and uh, bring your own builder. You have to choose an approved builder. They're trying to keep the style and the look and consistency right. of the neighborhood the same. But you do get some so. RV garages in here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And they are a little bit larger than where we just were in West Village. And again, some of them have some really nice views looking back up at, at Badger, Badger Mountain. So, um, that pretty much sums up yeah, the sums neighborhood. Up out here. And it's a great place if you're looking uh, to build. There's uh, plenty of space to still find a new construction house. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a great up and coming area. Um, like you said, great for new time, or home buyers and mm -hmm. um, retirees or anything out here. It's great. So we hope you enjoyed our ride along today. And if you are like what we're doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to our channel so you can see more drive with me's and some more fun uh, stuff on our channel. And we're going to stop and have lunch at the Country Working Tale today because we're out here and it's delicious. And I might actually buy some tamales or enchiladas to take home for dinner tonight. So I don't have to cook. There you go. I'm definitely getting some ice cream. Treat yourself. <laughs> have a great day. Thanks Bye, for joining us.